Side ops list updated. Boss, maybe you realize by now, Mission but updated. there's no other way to say it. Quiet's gone. She pulled her camo stun and stowed away on a departing chopper. After pinpointing which she took, we figured out her destination. Afghanistan. Get after her. Only you can do this. Us. I told you this would happen. I wish I could say good riddance, but Quiet knows too much about us. We can't just leave her out there. Remember what you told me when she first got here. One of these days, we're gonna have to kill her. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. I'd say that time has come. has arrived. The map has been updated. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Spit it out. Where are the others? The map has been updated. Marker placed.
extract him. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Intel file obtained. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina1, and I've got a very, very special mission for you. We are so close to the end that there's only really two missions left for the ending. So let me go ahead and go through this. So you guys already, you know, um... I've already done it, but I'm going to go ahead and show it after this. In order to get mission 45, you need to do the side op that allows you to unlock mission 45, which is to find out where Quiet went. So I'll play all the score, all the corresponding uh, videos and stuff that you need to see in order for it to make sense. However, if you want to get an S ranking in this, I mean, you got to skip the cutscenes. There is, excuse me, guys, sorry about that. There is a lot of cutscenes. Uh, in this specific mission. This is like an ending to itself. This is Quiet's ending. This is um, an ending to a lot of different things. So this is a very long mission when it comes to cutscenes. So if you want to get that S ranking, um, I definitely recommend that you skip the cutscenes. So what I'm going to do is I've done in previous videos when I want to make sure the cutscenes are in there and, and all that great stuff and we still want to get the S ranking is I'm going to mix in, uh, since I've already beat it, I'm going to mix in the cutscenes from that and mixed in with this gameplay, which uh, should give me the S ranking. So I think I missed it by, I want to say, 2,000 points. I had 128,000 when I needed 130 in order to get the S ranking, but the mission is like over 40 minutes if you include the cutscenes. So it's uh, a pretty lengthy mission. But let me tell you, you guys are absolutely going to love it. And what's special is after this is the very ending. As you can see down here, we have unlocked the truth. With that being said, we are going to move on with the true ending of the game 
and then later on we're gonna do the extra missions that we need to none of the extra missions matter for anything story related so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the ending uh, but I just want to let you guys know what's going on so you're gonna see the side ops that leads up to um, the mission itself and it goes directly into the mission now remember when you're going into that side ops I recommend you bringing a loadout that is heavily uh, rocket launcher appropriate uh, remember all you really have to do in order to um, to make the best out of Please select a mission. what you do in the game is you just need to accept a mission and as you can see you have loadouts one two and three uh, you can see right there so you can set um, you know one of these loadouts to your favorite loadouts so that when you have your favorite loadout when you're actually inside the game and you get dropped off in mission 45 you can go ahead and drop down your loadout that you're going to need for that mission and you won't have to worry about any of that other stuff but as you can see it is a bloody mission i just finished it and we were so close to getting the s ranking on the first time uh i was just 2,000 points off so as i said we're going to go ahead and set up for this mission so first off we're going to go ahead and play the briefing tape please select a mission Boss, we've located Quiet in Afghanistan. She's been captured by the Soviets and taken to Lamar Hate Palace. But why did she leave Mother Base and return to Afghanistan? And why hand herself over to the Soviets? I just can't imagine what she was thinking. Right after her recent actions finally earned her more fans around here too. Boss, you need to go and get her out. You're not just going to leave her in their hands, are you? All right, so let's go into this. As far as equipment goes, you're going to want some heavy, heavy firepower. So I've been keen to using the F FBMRR launcher, uh, which has uh, got the best damage that any we any uh, rocket launcher weapon has. However, you don't have the automatic kind of uh, where it, it, it finds them, the homing you know system and stuff. So because of that, it makes it a lot more difficult to shoot the helicopter that you're going to have to face off against, which adds a little bit more challenge, but we're still going to keep it that way. Uh, unfortunately, the only weapon you can customize is the Grom 11, and we only have it up to uh, level 4, which isn't um, that bad when it comes to damage. As you can see, you got 9 shots, whereas this one only has 7. We're currently uh, upgrading this weapon right now, where it actually gives you, I think, 13 shots. But I'm still going to go ahead and recommend using the FBMR launcher just because it's the best one that we have so far as far as uh, everything, you know, together. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that. That's pretty much all you're going to need. That's the only thing you're going to want to need. The other thing you're going to need is make sure that you have, instead of decoys, we don't need decoys. What we do need are the, let's see, release gas... Uh, this one I think should be to capture vehicles oh yeah that's right you're gonna want uh, there's another mine out there that uh, you're gonna want to make sure you already have before you do this mission we're actually developing it right now so we don't have it so I'm gonna use a different method which you could use as well uh, there's all different kinds of ways that you can do it but using that mine will actually allow you to destroy the vehicles very quickly you can kinda get behind them uh, you can extract the vehicles if you want but it does take a lot more time and it is very very difficult uh, to do so I've kinda got the way that I'm gonna do it which is using C4 and a mixture of sneaking up behind the vehicles so hopefully that'll work for me um, as far as what I'm going to use here my character is we're gonna go with the battle dress uniform even though you're not gonna see the battle dress uniform in the actual video you're gonna see just normal fatigues because that's what I completed it with um, I just uh, want to make sure that you know we can complete this good without it's very easy to die and we need as many points as we can get to get that S ranking so I definitely recommend that if you know beat it your first time go through it the way that you want to and then come back and then try to do this method here so we're going to go with the battle dress uniform. As far as Buddy goes, um, we're going to go with, yeah, as you can kindly see, something uh, we don't have uh, quiet anymore. Oops. Uh, we're going to go with D-horses so we can get there a little bit faster. And I think that's going to be pretty much it. That's all we got to really, really worry about. Uh, everything else should be good to go. So this is, of course, mission number 45, a quiet exit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and it's go time. Boss, 
Yes, we've gone over the prisoner transport log you found. Quiet was grabbed by the Soviets and moved to Lamar Hate Palace. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. They lost a lot of men to her. Can't blame them for wanting payback. But why did she just let herself get captured? I think it is time you knew. Quiet was carrying the vocal cord parasites. The English strain, to be precise. The third English pair. Skullface was using her as a vector, an ace in the hole if his assassination plan failed. I knew it, but White chose not to speak. She told me the situation in Nene, Navajo, the only language to which the parasites do not react. Yeah. If you found out, she would not remain among you, and yet she refused to walk your dream. Part of her still wanted revenge yeah. against you. Revenge against the boss? In order to stay here, she took a vow for yeah. eternal silence. But then, that sudden mutation showed this was not enough. As long as the parasites were inside her, she could not predict what might happen. And that's why she took off? Sacrificing herself to make sure the English strain died with her? Maybe. Or maybe she only wants to infect the world. Whatever her plan, we can't let her go free. The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both of her and the parasites. We don't know for sure what Quiet's up to, but we need to secure her ASAP. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. Yeah. Whoa, whoa.
Alright, here we go, ladies and gents. You're surrounded. There's no escape. You and Quiet will have to take them out. Mission incident has been destroyed. Use this rocket launcher as much as you can. As you can see, it automatically starts you with a different rocket launcher, so I just suggest you use this one until you don't have any more. Alright, have quiet, destroy these enemies. As soon as she gives you the available option to. See where that come from. There it is. Get ready. 
Ready while you have the time. If you have mines, boss, now is the time to plant them. Try to predict the enemy's route. Supplies requested. All you need is three C4. Enemy dead ahead. So Don't let them get close. Amazingly, this enemy gets blown up automatically if you destroy one of the vehicles that was in that area. Now you're just waiting for this vehicle there to come through. Now there should be a sandstorm that's going to eventually start coming through here. So go ahead and start having quiet kill as many enemies as possible. Uh, make sure that you don't blow up the first one, but you blow up the second one that you see. Alright. And continue to have quiet kill any enemies that might be in your way. Like that guy right there. Thank you, quiet.
quiet.
The boss is with me. Ahab? Wait, who is this? Identify yourself! There's no time! Hurry! Where are you? What is your location? No, you're moving away from us. Circle back to your 8 o'clock. Copy that. Guide me to your location. Proceed to your 10 o'clock. Understood. Come back toward your 1 o'clock. Copy. 1 o'clock. Shift slightly to your left. Now proceed straight. 1.5 miles. Slide right. A little more. Yes, there you go. One more mile. Strong winds approaching. Quick, adjust to your right. and proceed straight. Half a mile to go. Peacock, I can see you. I have a visual. There you are, Ahab. Visual confirmed. Peacock, hurry! This way. You're... I didn't know you could be so talkative, quiet. The boss is here. Hurry, Peacock. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Wow. You can see how difficult that mission is. It will take you definitely a few tries to get, especially doing it my way. Now, obviously, if you had better ammunition, if you had uh, a better rocket launcher, you know, then obviously it wouldn't take probably nearly as long. But as you can see, 11 minutes, 37 seconds with just the gameplay itself. Again, I do apologize that the cutscenes were not a part of... Uh, this version of what I just did, but hopefully this strategy will be able to work for you guys as far as being able to take out uh, these vehicles. Uh, again, you, there's also extra bonus points for being able to extract as many as you can. However, that would probably take quite a long time as you need to find a way to work around them and uh, you could die very, very easily. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so much for everything you guys do for the channel and uh, one more mission to go, ladies and gentlemen, and that is it. We have completed Metal Gear Solid 5 the phantom pain thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one peace out bitches boss boss i gave you an anti-venom where's quiet i we've got to go <clears throat> Let's
Let's go, boys. I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue. Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me, revenge. But the words we shared, no, that was no language at all. That is why I chose the language of gratitude instead and go back to silence.
the results of quiet scans? Yes, as I suspected. Her entire body underwent parasite therapy. The parasites compensated for her burnt epidermis and provide her blood with oxygen through cutaneous respiration instead of pulmonary respiration. In addition, they replace the digestive organs she lost, and she receives carbohydrates through photosynthesis. Was Skullface responsible? There is no other possibility. Skullface ordered Quiet to assassinate Snake, only she got set on fire instead when he woke up in that hospital. But then Skullface revived Quiet through his parasite therapy, at the same time infecting her with the English strain. That way, even if the assassination failed again, she could still kill all of us just by coming here. That was the third English mating pair. Correction. The first and only English pair to be carried by a person. So either because she wanted to get even with Snake, or because she was working for Skullface, Quiet approached Snake again. Though in the end, for whatever reason, she did not complete her objective. Some change of heart, perhaps. We won't hear it from her.